I enjoy writing. It gives me a, a time to express myself and uh, express my thoughts and to share my story. And not everybody is capable or comfortable of doing it. I, I, I keep a notebook with me all the time. I, I constantly write. If I'm on the plane, I'm writing. I always thinking. I'm a huge thinker, so I jot my thoughts down. Uh, and maybe and that'll go into business every uh, business ventures and business areas of my life as well. But what inspired me about getting into writing children's books? I actually wanted to write one big biography. And uh, a guy that I was working with at the time was like, Meek, as much stuff as you do with the children, why don't we start telling your story in children's literature first? And at first I was like, well, no, I kind of don't want to get into the writing part and all this kind of stuff. But once I did, it excelled, and I've, I've enjoyed it since then. And I realized that kids at a young age don't really have decisions. They're faced with a lot of choices. So instead of going Meek moments with decisions, 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 which is true, um, I decided to go with um, to make his choices because kids at that age have uh, more choices than decisions to make. Well, I just have to keep telling myself that uh, kids today need to know, need structure, and they need to know that the people that they see on TV, the people that they are, that they think are superstars, was basically in the same position that they were, that they are in, and that we, they need to understand that just like we were there, there they can do the same exact things, if not more, than what we are doing. They just need to know that. It's not all glamorous that we have to we had to start at the same place that they were and that's what I keep my focal point on. I think kids today definitely need needs role models and they need to know that there are other people out there that, that care other than their teachers and their parents. My grandmother passed away four years ago, uh, but she was an integral part of the woman that you see today in me. She groomed me into who I am, uh, played a huge role into helping me become the woman that I am and uh, she was a school teacher for 33 plus years and it wasn't until I went to go visit her classrooms that I was able to understand how she was able to put up with me for as much as long as she was but um that uh, she 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 helped me become the person that I am and I just wanted to keep her legacy going my illustrator that I have was uh, Linda Wilson uh, and I promise you she did an outstanding job um, I was in constant um, communication with her because the one thing that she wanted to do was make sure that she captured everything the way I wanted it to be captured and uh, I was in constant communication with her but she did a, a great job and I'm, I'm happy that we were partners. If a regular novel of 307 pages go through a lot, I would fully understand it because I, I had more than seven or eight, maybe nine or ten drafts because it's constantly changing. The hardest part though is finishing it. Once you finish it, you can start putting pieces and taking things away from other things, but um, there, there is a lot of draft work that goes into it, but that's the good thing about it. You know, you want, if you want to have a masterpiece, you have to make it work. A lot of people are excited that I am taking the time to not only give back to the community, but to share a little bit about myself. Sometimes people look for that sense of connection with, um, with the players, and through basketball, sometimes that's the only way that they can connect. I think me branching out a little bit and giving them another opportunity, another avenue, I think people have been uh, happy and excited about that. The crazy part about me is that I don't talk about it. Um, I would prefer for the foundation to get the credit and somebody else to get the credit, although I'm doing it. it that's, not what I, that's not the reason I do it. I do it for the kids to have more to it. All the proceeds you know, are going to a scholarship to make sure that they can further their education. So for me, the kids are more important than me getting any credit for it. I do know that I won't be able to play basketball for the rest of my life, so stepping into other avenues is just a, another door opening and another opportunity that I get myself once I do hang the shoes up. It's very therapeutic because it gives you a time to take, a, uh, to take away from uh, everything that's being talked about, everything that's being said. It gives you a time to just relax. You know, basketball is a competitive sport, so it's always kind of intense. When I put that pen in my hand, my mind is free, it wanders, and I just write. People always ask me about, you know, me being small and playing the game. I would tell everybody, you know, your thoughts are your thoughts. and they're, and there are a lot of people that would like to hear everybody's story. Everybody has something to share with anybody. I would encourage every single person that feel as though they want to get into it to at least try it, to see how, they, how it would come about. Um, and surround yourself with the positive people and the right people that's going to help encourage you to do the things that you want to do and help you reach your goals.